so welcome to qe tutorial so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have completed with the modeling of this particular wardrobe furniture and its assets let's start texturing it so we'll be using the pvr materials so let's go into rendering render setup and first let's activate the v-ray material or v-ray over here so let's go into this let's just activate this let's close it so i'll just go over here i'll go into the downloads and let's take first as a wood material i'll just go into this and i'll just take a wood material over here so let's go into this so i'll just sort by type so i have this some wood materials wooden flooring so i can just take this so let's just copy this so let's go into the desktop i'll just take a new folder so i'll just paste it i'll just extract it here so as you can see once you extract this you get its all its properties like your color your normal map for roughness can also be used the bump map the roughness map so let's again go into this let's take press m go into material editor and i'll go into this let's go into the slate material editor let's take a v-ray material i'll go into the diffuse bitmap and i'll go into this and let's take this floor material for now so go over here so give the tiling so we can just slightly assign the tiles in this way and let's go over here let's take a v-ray bump to normal let's connect it with a bump map the normal map so i have a normal map assigned with me so i'll just go into the bitmap and i'll take the floor normal map and let's connect it with this so i'll slightly connect this normal map let's go into the reflection and slightly you can add some uh, reflection to it for the floor now the same way again i'll go into this let's go into the downloads and i'll take a wooden texture so i have downloaded a wood texture over here so i have a bamboo texture let's just copy this and again i'll take another folder and let's name it as wood over here i'll just extract here over here all right so you have this uh, wood texture with so let's select this go into this also we have another wood texture as well so if you want you can go into this stonework wood so we have some two wood textures so if you need it we can use it any of it so let's go over here paste it extract here <coughs> so you get this uh, wood also so we can take any of it so the color displacement normal map 
and your roughness map so let's again go into this go into the material first i'll take a v-ray material so i'll just name it as wood let's go into the diffuse bitmap i'll go into the wood over here and i'll just assign this over here let's give a UVW map so we can assign a UVW map set it as a box over here also I can just slightly give a bit of reflection to it the same way Again, I'm going to assign a bump to normal, connect it with a bump map and let's go into this bump map, bitmap and let's call this wood a normal map. So you can increase or decrease this if needed for the roughness. So you will definitely see the roughness. If you want, you can go with some light material as well. So we do have that as well. So this is, I guess, the same uh, material. If you open it. So it might be the same material okay uh, it's different so we are going to use it for this all right no problem so again I'll go into this I've assigned this can just click over here I have off the reflections over here select this so now we are going with the fabric stuff so for the fabric part we have uh, different different fabrics so we'll first just check the fabrics over here so just we get an idea of it so what kind of fabric material okay I think this is a uh, correct one so I'll just go into this I'll copy this again I'll go into this and I'll just create a new folder fabric so let's just place it extract it here so go over here go into the material and let's again take a V-Ray material over here name it as fabric go into the diffuse go into the bitmap let's go into this fabric and let's just assign this so this is a color map which we are going to assign it over here so if you want to increase it you can just go over here and increase it and let's give a UVW map set it as a box alright again go down V-Ray bump to normal and let's take a bump map go into this take a bit map and let's take again a normal map for this as usual so I'll just save the file once so we can add this way now again I'll go into this let's select this wardrobe over here so we can just select the wardrobe part and if you need to add some texture to it let's again go into this and let's again add a wooden
So, we can just extract this over here. I think uh, we have extracted a wrong texture. Okay, this is the correct texture. So I'll just close this. All right, now let's again go into this, select this, take a V-Ray material, you already taken a 2K texture bitmap and let's go into this, assign it over here. So I can just go into this, go into the material. So I can just make it 2 by 2 and let's give a UVW map, set it as a box, slightly reduce the height and again add a V-Ray bump to normal connected with a bump map, bit map and let's connect this with it all right so we can just go into rendering go into render setup over here and go into v-ray let's activate this gi environment and you can render and see looks like all right so I'll go into rendering, go into the environment and I'll add a V-Ray sky and let's render it again. All right. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So I can just put something over here. Alright, so please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.